All right, guys, this is the micro squirt how to. Once you get it assembled, and once you have the mods done inside, which I'll show in another video, how to solder that stuff up. This one's already done, but what I wanted to do is show you guys an overview, basically how this works. If this is in your car, or on uh, if you have this wiring harness, uh, one of the easiest ways is, this is my test bench motor here. I just hook up a battery charger, and what I have found is funny, if it's uh, 2 amp, it's too low. I have trouble flashing the ECUs. So I go right to 10 amp. And I hook up the ground right on the back of the block. And that power wire over there, I'm keeping it isolated with the dipstick so it doesn't touch the block, goes to this fuse panel. And what I do is I just pull number 4 amp there for the, this is the ECU. And then over here is my fuel pump. The yellow is coils and that's injectors. But I only plug in the ECU, as I say in other parts of the video probably. I have to cut and edit this together a bunch of times because I just wasn't prepared to take on all of this. Uh, what I do here is I shove this 12 volt test light into the ground and it makes it easy because this harness is short as hell. This is where all my extras come out. That's the bootloader wire. And then what I do is I just pinch it with the alligator clip. For the first time you power on the ECU to flash it with the firmware, you're going to need to ground the bootstrap for it to flash. And then I have the laptop hooked up with the COM port plugged in here. Here's the micro squirt. And I have bare feet. And it's 51 degrees out here. The floor is cold. <laughs> All right, guys. Now that you got your test bench set up and you saw how I have mine set up and I got power going to everything now, all I have to do is bump the fuse in and out to power on and off the CCU. What you got to do is download this firmware right here, it's MS2 Extra 3.2.4 is what I have right now. I don't know if that's the newest, there may be a slightly newer, but this is what I use and it works. So if you need to get a hold of it, uh, I can post up links for it. Also if you go on like Ls one Tech and whatnot, I have write-ups on how to do this stuff. You can get the firmware there. You can also get the firmware from all of the Mega Manual, DIY websites, all sorts of things. It's not that hard to get a hold of. Uh, once you get the zip file and unzip it, it comes with all these files. Uh, important thing to note, you cannot use the regular, if you download and install Tuner Studio, it comes with a flashing program to flash firmware. You can't use that for the uh, MS2 extra code. It won't work correctly. This has its own special way of flashing everything, so it comes with its own loader. Uh, basically, you just open up that guy, and then let me get this in the view here. Now what this says is remove the fuse powering your ignition coils. Uh, spark outputs may be undefined until you reload your settings. What this means is is if there's no settings for the spark they could be firing constantly, impulses, uh, and these coil packs are sensitive. If you're overcharging them you can burn them out. You can zap yourself or all sorts of funny shit can happen. My best advice to you is only power the ECU. Unplug the injectors, everything else from the fuse panel, only power the ECU, that way nothing gets fucked up. It's simple, it's easy to remember. One thing you want to do next is, well, you want to ground the, like I showed before, ground the bootloader wire right now with the little jaws that I have, and then, it says press enter to continue, and then right here it says ensure that you are powered, so I'm jamming the fuse in right now, Make sure you, my, my uh, battery charger over there is actually has a timer on it. Make sure you have plenty of time on it and this shit doesn't power off on you. One thing to look after, has fuse power connected, press enter. Ensure that no tuning software is running. Yes, quit the software, do not minimize it. This is important, if you have something open, uh, anything open that could be using your COM port, when this goes to use the COM port, it's going to say it's not available. It can't use the COM port because your other program is. It can't interrupt it. So this is important. You have to make sure that shit is closed. You hit enter again, and then it says debug message level, normal. Uh, all sorts of things here. It'll give you all options and everything. I just hit enter for default number one, normal. Do you want to scan your serial ports automatically? Sure. Hit enter. Yes. It says trying on COM1, waiting. And right here it says... It found an MS2 slash MS3 in boot jump monitor mode detected. Do you want to use COM1? Hit enter. Yes. Again. And then here, this is important. 
this isn't just a mega squirt too. This is a micro squirt uh, special. So you can't just keep bomb and enter here. Actually, I don't think it will pick a default. No, it says default MS2 extra. So what you need to do is hit two for micro squirt. And when you hit enter, what it says here is a basic summary of what it's going to do. It's going to use COM1. It's going to flash this file. Blah, 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 blah. And then you hit enter. And what it does here is it does a quick flash. And what this does is it flashes a small portion so it can do jumperless booting. So you don't have to play with this jumper wire. You don't have to get nervous. Once it does that, it writes a small segment. It says, please turn off micro squirt. So I'm unplugging the micro squirt fuse to take out the power. Also what I'm doing is I'm taking the jaws off the bootloader wire. Now the jaws are off the bootloader wire. Just to make sure I put a a little wire nut on there so it can't touch anything just out of nervous precaution here and now it says press enter to continue now it says also just what I did remove the jumper wire from the ground press enter now it says turn on the mega squirt so I'm plugging the fuse back in and I'll wait like three seconds I'm gonna hit enter and what it does here is it goes out and it says bootstrap found sending jumperless flash command the ECU says OK, and it says, oh man, I'm going to load firmware now. And as you can see here, it says sending firmware. Everything's working good. Erase the main flash. And 4, 5, 6, 7% going away here. Going and going and going. What I'll do is I'll just stop the video quick till it's done. All right, guys, it's done. It doesn't take that long. Well, if you're sitting and waiting for it, it might take a long time. Maybe it takes two minutes or something. It's not that bad. And now that it's done here, it says it wrote uh, 100,425 bytes. Be sure to reset your sensor calibrations. Settings were not preserved. Please reload your MSQ. What that means is when it flashes this special firmware in, it doesn't save any of your stuff. It loads all of its own firmware, all the settings, everything else, and it puts in uh, somewhat of a bass tune just something in there with a bunch of settings for you to look at. After that, all you gotta do is press enter and it closes out of it. Now, what I like to do is pull the fuse, turn it off for a second or two. While it's off, I fire up uh, Tuner Studio here. Once you get Tuner Studio going, plug the fuse back in. And then what I would recommend doing is using one of my can tunes there for you for micro squirt. If you go to file, and uh, I have it in my recent projects here, but you're going to open. What I'll do is I'll open up my micro 2 test bench. This is what I use for running cars on this thing, so it's already set up. And when I hit OK, what it does is it connects and it does its difference report here. And it sees that my tune is totally different from the tune on the ECU. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to copy over the settings? on the controller or the settings on the laptop and what I recommend doing is dumping the tune in from the laptop because it's set up for running an LS engine it already has everything set up uh, for ignition uh, everything for the coils uh, just everything you can think of I just load that hit send current tuner studio settings blah 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 it doesn't take very long loads everything and then what you will see here is it's already set up and ready to go it shows coolant temp 49, manifold temp 51, and uh, you can see if I move the throttle position here, that's working good too. Now, if you have everything wired up correctly, you can put your fuses in for spark, and you can crank the motor, and you should see if you uh, plug in a spark plug to your coil pack, you should see it spark every now and then when you're cranking your motor. Make sure you have good power and everything, but that's basically it. That's how simple it is to load the firmware for one of these micro twos nice and easy